Today we're going to do a little vocabulary lesson. Nothing quite like what we did um, in our actual physical classroom, but I wanted to do something with you that is relevant to what's going on right now with COVID-19. Um, so there's no official work to be turned in for this lesson. However, I encourage you to talk with your family um, or the people that you're with in your home um, and reflect and discuss as we go throughout this lesson and even using these words this week. Um, there are going to be three words that we're focusing on today, and they are So the first word we're going to focus on is cope. Now I have to show you something. Uh, for those of you that had me last year, we read the book Frindle, and I'm feeling a little bit like Mrs. Granger right now. This is my dictionary from home, and this was actually a gift from my language teacher in high school, Ms. Barry. So we're going to old fashion this and look it up. So the first word cope, it says to struggle to overcome problems or difficulties. Okay. So if I'm coping with something, I'm overcoming it, a struggle. Um, so these are some of my top synonyms. Remember synonyms same? So I like these a lot. To endure, to weather the storm, to rise above, and to handle it. So I'm going to give you a little bit of reflect and discuss in the next piece. And I also have to share something really cool. It was an acronym for the word COPE. So look at that in the next couple pictures. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. The next word that I turned to in my dictionary was pandemic. Some of you have maybe heard of this word or your parents have talked to you about it, but I wanted to give you the definition from my dictionary. A widespread outbreak of disease. We're dealing with that right now um, as we speak. Now there's probably lots of feelings that you could be feeling and those are all completely normal, um, but I wanted to share something with you looking at the synonyms for this word. Global, all over, universal, um, which made me start thinking about how we are all in this together. And when Christ calls us to love one another, what an opportunity it gives us during this pandemic. So um, in the next pictures, you're going to see your reflect and discuss. Go ahead and pause if you need to um, as you think and talk about that through. The final word I turned in my dictionary was resilient. An ability to recover from or adjust easily to change or to a misfortune. How can we change? How can we adjust to what's going on? And what I loved about these synonyms, it reminded me about what we talk about every day. Um, so the synonyms that really stood out to me were if you're resilient, you're strong, you're tough, and one that we, like I said, we discuss is flexible. Can we control what's going on around us fully? We know we cannot do that. And not like the can't, like can't yet. We can't control everything around us, but what is the one thing we can control? You're right, we can control ourselves. So what are we gonna be doing that is helping make us resilient to the changes that are going on? Because if there's one thing I know is that all of you, every single one of you are resilient. Please take some time in the next reflect and discuss to go over the word resilient. I hope that you're able to use these words throughout this week and that you're able to have uh, great discussions with your family and something I'll leave you with is what I thought was really interesting with the word cope. And also, I reread the message that my English teacher left me in the back. And I'm going to read it to you and then I'm going to tell you what she meant from it. And I thought it was 
pretty relevant for this time. It says Tammy, June 2003. So, well, almost 17 years ago. Remember the seventh word on page 389. I think this is a very important part of who you are. Also, the word that is sixth from the bottom right column on page 212 is very important. I know that you will find the 16th word in the right column on page 38. I look forward to hearing about your adventures. Please let me know how it is going for you from time to time. Love, Madeline Barry. Now, when I looked at these words, it was kind of exciting. I was like, what does she mean? What is this going to be? But when I reread these words today, when I was looking through this, I thought, oh my goodness, this fits, I feel, all of us. And the words were persevere. What do we do when times get tough? We can choose to fall down and quit or we can persevere. We can make it through it. The next one is balance. We've talked about we have to find a balance in life. I cannot eat 12 dozen donuts. Ooh, that'd be so many. I can't eat a dozen donuts. Um, but maybe find the balance of eating one. Um, maybe instead of worrying all day, I can find a moment to step away and meditate to God and to pray. We need to find that balance in life. And the last one was, now I know this is going to be surprising for you all, was fun. We need to allow time for fun in our lives. And I hope that you guys all can find that.